So this video is going to be uh, about how to create wireframes uh, for planning out your website. Um, this uh, type of work, this part of the uh, developing process is super important to uh, to to structure uh, your website and figure out uh, which elements uh, of your website is going where and uh, and uh, which pages are, are going to be uh, uh, designed in in which fashion um so uh I will tell you how I do this and how i you know uh try to work with clients in in uh, in uh, developing a a a great infrastructure infra infrastructure on their websites so there's a lot of different tools for uh for doing this kind of thing but i have uh found out that uh using uh, uh this website called go mockingbird uh is is one of the greatest and easiest ways to do this and uh it is actually free if you want to uh you know if you want to have the ability to save your uh, work or export your work to to pdf uh you have to pay but it's only uh 9 bucks uh, a month um so so the price price is very reasonable uh for for what you're getting so when you launch the app uh your uh, your inter interface looks like this and uh, it's it's actually looking just like a a um, normal software application uh you got your menus up here you got your uh, different uh, shortcuts up here and um uh, you have the ability to create uh more than one pages in in uh, one project and you got this all this great stuff for uh, laying out your uh, your web page and um and and uh, uh, you know working with different de degrees of uh, details um i like however to keep it really really simple um no colors no uh, kind of graphics uh um and and this is uh, because the the wireframes is uh, only to illustrate where different elements go not how they look or or which color they they have so what i tend to do is just uh, pick out the uh, uh the box tool here for example and you just drag it to your canvas and um you can ad actually set your canvas to uh, whatever size uh, uh, uh fits and um uh, uh, i i work with the 960 grid system um and and uh, i actually uh, would like an a 960 grid uh, system overlay in this uh, software maybe it, uh, it it will be uh, available later on but uh, but i work in this uh, grid system and if you don't know what this grid system is, go google it it's uh, it's a great way to to structure a website but as i said you know you can uh, you can move this around and you can uh, you always have the ability to uh, to see uh, where on on your canvas uh, your element is uh, placed and you can use the arrow keys for for more control and move um move this box uh, uh, uh one pixel at a time so if i want to place there and i want this to uh illustrate the logo of the website i uh, choose which which size i want the logo and uh, we'll go for a fairly big logo here um, something like that and set the width at 300 and uh, I tend to use the text tool to uh, put um, sort of put labels on um, on on the things I'm doing uh, to remind uh, myself later on what it, it is I'm doing uh, but also to you know illustrate to my clients what is this box representing and um, I said you as I said earlier, you don't use color, but you can use uh, a, for example, a gray color to illustrate this uh, this element. Um, and uh, I only have 
uh, fairly small uh, real estate here, uh, uh, you know, monitor space. So uh, I have to scroll a little and. Um, and as I said, you can use these uh, different elements, menus, and so on. But but I t I tend just to use this box, and uh, and as you can do a lot of things uh, with this. You can you can move them around. You can group objects together. You can lock them down, so you don't uh, so you don't uh, inadvertently uh, change them, and and so on. And you can copy and paste and undo and all this great stuff that you know from uh, from other uh, other projects but uh, I'll just uh, switch over to a an example of a uh, a project I am doing to uh, to illustrate a finished um, wireframe so here I have opened a, uh, a project that I am uh, currently working on and you can see out here that I have uh, more than one page in this project and as I described earlier, you can see the boxes that I've laid out here. You can see the logo. You can see the menu, and and these boxes are, you know, st uh, structured after the 960 grid system. We have our uh, billboard here, uh, which is uh, the front page where you, you know, put an image or text telling uh, people what this uh, website is about. There are three teasers here. Um, on the front page, um, and as you can see, it's it's kept uh, uh, pretty simple and and just uh, just to to illustrate uh, the different uh, positions of uh, of different elements. Here we have the footer and uh, three different uh, footer columns. And if I go to uh, the next the page wireframe, you see here the header is uh, ex exactly the same. But uh, the uh, the the main content is uh, is different. We have a a big box here uh, illustrating the the main content. The footer is the same, um, and uh, over here we have um, we have uh, some elements over at, uh, over at the sidebar uh, representing a block teaser. There's a block on this website and. Uh, social links, links to Facebook and uh, and Twitter and so on, and brand text. So uh, this is a great way to to uh, work with clients. You know, illustrate to them uh, how is the website going to be uh, uh, structured, and and it's it's easy because you 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 get you don't get extracted by colors or images or or typography and so on. Uh, and even uh, even though I've been uh, doing this kind of work for many many years, I still do uh, wireframing. It's it's a it's an important part of the the job, and it really helps me to to uh, to visualize uh, what I'm doing and and where I'm placing the the elements and uh, uh, what kind of uh, you know what kind of size are they going to be and and so on. So. Uh, so you know if if you have some experience web uh, doing web design don't skip this step it's uh, it's really important so i hope you uh, you you uh, learned something from this video uh, if not uh, please tell me in the description below or send me an email and i will uh, elaborate on uh, on some of these uh, things um this is going to be part 1 of a a two part series uh, next time i will be talking about doing a, a sitemap to uh, to structure your different pages on on your website um as always follow follow me on uh, facebook and twitter and uh, don't be a stranger see you later bye